Adrian for ESCplus.com. Right after the final of Estelao 2019, uh, next to me have the, the pleasure to, to, to have uh, Tommy Rahula, which is the producer and the man who made this become a true reality in Estonia. Massive success this time, this year with Estelao. How do you feel, Tommy? Thank you very much. I feel very, very relaxed because uh, it was a very good show and everything went very well and, and we are very happy about this show. And and I think it was very good, like TV show. That's uh, because the favorite guys first of all was was like jury uh, points, and they were very down. I, d I don't remember ninth or tenth place. Mm -hmm. And then they just came like like rise on the like furnace, <laughs> and then the, that was uh, very very emotional. And I think uh, show went very well. There's a lot of questions uh, questions that I want to ask you because uh, Istilaul is really important contest in, in Estonia, mm -hmm. and I would really like to know first of all about the changes that uh, the contest experience since you enter um, in order you know to improve how the song is the, the contest is being produced and how you are approaching the Estonian audience because I, I, I don't think it's something easy for any producer in, in, in the television business how are you like managing and dealing with all the, the things that were happening in the past how did you approach the still out by yourself this year uh, I think uh I'm a musician, actually, and, and uh, I think uh, I, I also uh, many times uh, take part of this. Uh, I, I won 98 uh, in Eurovision Song Contest in Estonia, and then also with the Stig, we had many, many songs in um, competition in uh, Esti Laul in past, and uh, my points were like, I, 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 I how to say, I... I, I see uh, the the other side. I'm not like only the TV person. I see the musician side, and and I I very wanted to do like music music show uh, to uh, like the first uh, the important part is the music, and and that that is very 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 first thing for me, and, and that's why I I uh, had entered uh, more songs and. Uh, also, semi-finals were went live shows also, and and these kind of things that uh, and make make it like SLO much more bigger, and that that was my main thing, I think. Tell us a bit more about this change uh, of introducing live semi-finals this time, because it was something that it was really good. I think it, I think it worked, and uh, just uh, that gave the chance for the fans and the Australian audience to see uh, whether which kind of songs uh, Estonia has to offer to Europe. So. How was it, the experience in Tartu? I think it, it was very, very good because, uh, like you just said, we had like good, good songs and, uh, and we had more. No, the, the music level in this year was uh, much higher than like last year, I think so. And, and, and that, that's why I'm, why I'm very happy of that. that. We had 24 songs, very good songs, now tw 12 in final. And, and actually one thing, what, what this new thing in Estelle in Este Laul, what was in this year, was that um, uh, can take part uh, foreigner singer. Yes, and sure. now you see how it came. The reality. <laughs> yeah, reality. So one. Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually very good, I think, because uh, not for... Uh, be no, because we have very good songwriters, mm -hmm. and, and uh, of course in, in Estonia we have also very good singers, but the songwriters want to uh, make collaborations with uh, uh, outside uh, people and, and, and make music, no, Estonian music, and, and that's okay if it's uh, represented by other country, I think so. Also, uh, we had uh, the we had Estonia won one time, two thousand one, and we had the second best place in Eurovision was uh, when uh, it, it, that Estonia was represented by Swedish girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salin. Salin. And two thousand two. No, you never know. Maybe maybe here's a he's a key for us. <laughs> yeah. So what if uh, Victor gets to win in Tel Aviv? Um, what's going to be uh, the, the, the 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 focus for the Estonian public broadcaster? Because uh, have you thought about building another? Bini or something because we know Saku uh, for how the Eurovision has become nowadays is, could be a little bit small maybe. How do you thought about this? About if, if we win Tel Aviv? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, or in the future, in the coming future. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that uh, Saku is uh, today, in now these days are uh, a little bit small for this kind of show. It uh, has been very huge now, but 
actually, this is my first year. Give me some some years, and then we discuss about it uh, again. For sure. Yeah. Um, I want so well to ask you about the international jury because it's something that you've been yes. introducing uh, as a, something new this year. Um, why? What did it decided to introduce uh, an international jury, and how was the how was the criteria to choose them? It's it's very easy. Why? Because uh, in Estonia is a very small country, mm -hmm. and we. We all musicians are connected somehow, mm -hmm. and also people are a little bit um, are uh, also committed like uh, emotionally. If they know like oh this is Stieg or this is uh, another Stieg and no oh no this guy is sometimes people doesn't listen the music and the focus is somewhere else. That's why I think uh, uh, international juries they are like a clean sheet. They don't know, they don't have emotional uh, connections and just give their points like uh, they hear those songs. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, th I think it works. I hope it works, actually. No. Uh, yeah, actually, we, we uh, took the decision of the public this time because it was a televoting. We never know. We will yeah. see in Eurovision in yeah. May. But for sure, that will be uh, something that um, you will be helping out much uh, to Victor because uh, you have experience, you have uh, this experience as a singer, as a musician, and also... Um, Victor has won, and you will be going all together to the delegation to Tel Aviv. Uh, how do you think the experience is going to be there? And how, as I asked in the press conference, what have you thought about it? Uh, just regardless of the, the singer that was supposed to win Estee Laul, what was the approach as the new head of delegation for Estonia in the Eurovision? What are you planning to give? And, 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 and I, I, I have to learn now. I have two, two months to learn what we, what we have to do there, because okay. actually, I know these days, no, I went 20 years ago there. Uh, in Birmingham when, when, when it was 1998 and, yeah and then it was a little bit uh, smaller show and then but now these days it's very big and uh, actually I don't know yet everything what we're gonna do but uh, I will learn it and then we, we will do it something that will make Estonia proud <laughs> yes for sure <laughs> we have to <laughs> what do you remember back from the days in Birmingham in, in the Eurovision 1998 uh, the winner <laughs> and, and uh, yeah yeah and actually, no, I was very young, and uh, it was for me like uh, no, very successful and uh, uh, time, and then I was very happy, and, and actually it was big for me because uh, in Estonia, no, we, we had a little TV show in one studio, and, and now it's uh, we came, we we went like uh, not big stage, like no, I, I don't remember to it the was venue to biggest, yeah, uh, yeah, and the the, yeah, and it was like for me is wow, and, no. And I was so green and then freshman and that, that I remember I remember it was like huge for me like oh, wow and that it's like I think it's still a huge experience yeah. and uh, and really happy and I think fans will be happy to see that everything has developed in the best possible way yeah, absolutely so thank you very much you for very much. talking to us it was a pleasure we try to see each other again in Tel Aviv maybe in Estilao next year hopefully uh, this will be becoming much better and bigger if possible because I think it's already big so it was a pleasure thank you you're thank always you. welcome.